In this video, we will show a very neat solution to plot histograms and overlaid density plots in R. So the other day I was looking to do some kind of overlaid histograms for one of my papers. And as it happens very often, I forgot again how to do it. So, well, naturally I went for Google. Naturally, I ended up on Stack Overflow and I found a gem that I would like to share with you today. So this is the Stack Overflow link specified here, and I will also put it down in the comments and we will visit it at the end of the video. But basically it is a response to a question which basically was asking the same how to do overlaid histograms. And the, this person, going by the name of Cybernetic, was answering this question already in 2018 with an update in 2021, which I want to share with you here. So it is, uh, surprise, surprise, a ggplot graph. So we load the tidyverse package with the library tidyverse. And also for the demonstration, we will use the Palmer Penguins package. So we load the Palmer Penguins with library Palmer Penguins command. What is very neat in this figure or basically in this solution that it actually makes the figure really like pop in a sense that you will see it's a very nice solution with the overlays and also with thick borders, nice colors. So it's, it's, it's an extremely nice solution that I was thinking it deserves the place on my ongoing spectacular series, so spectacular R series. Well, I made a few changes to the code that you could see on the website. Uh, and uh, well, here is the, here is the code. So basically a, a, a small part for the histograms and multiple histograms, uh, as we will see it later on. But basically what I did, I added a new function argument. So basically I added plot title with an empty default value. And that is because for my particular case, I needed more histograms and it is kind of nice to see and nice to have put a title directly on the picture. So you can later on easily find what the histogram stands for. So I added this option here, but if you don't want to use it, so that's why it has a empty default value so it can be ignored. Now there was a bit of a problem with calculation of the mean values. So as you will see, it will also calculate the mean of the data set, but this was not considering the missing values. So I added that functionality. So now the NAs are correctly considered. And also because the original script was written some time ago, there were some notations that are sort of discouraged in a newer ggplot2 versions, but fortunately they are also were suggesting some replacements. So basically I did these replacements as suggested. So basically what we are looking at here is a custom function that has basically a more advanced version of the ggplot and geom histogram and geom density together. So at the end, it's not rocket science, but how it is done and basically the, the end effect is so nice that I, I really liked it and I hope you will like it too. Also, which is actually, this was the one that I was looking for in my initial search. You can put multiple histograms also on the same picture and well, various uh, settings. So here there are these, these values already set. So this alpha value is basically how transparent the various histograms and density plots should be. So basically, if you want to change anything on this, of course you can, just rewriting the values and you can adjust also these custom functions for yourself. So let's move on and try these out. First, what we need to do is of course load these custom functions to R because right now our environment is empty, meaning that these are not yet valid R functions, but basically if we run the script and run these 
lines so that we have the this custom function, the plot histogram, and the other custom function called the plot underscore multi underscore histogram so that we have these, then we can use them further on. So we will use the Palmer Penguins data set, so which we also loaded via a separate library statement. And this is just to run the Penguins data set, just to remind you how it looks like. So basically it is a measurement with bill length, bill depth, flipper length, and body mass for various penguin species from various islands. For example, for uh, our first histogram, we would like to plot the body mass of all penguins. So well, we, what we need to do only is to use this plot underscore histogram. And then as yeah, the first argument, we need to specify the data set. This will be this penguins data set. And the other one is just column that we want to specify or want to get the histograms for. Here, I have to highlight that the column name has to be in quotation marks. So, after, and after we run this line, then we actually get this very neat histogram overlaid by the density plot, and the dashed line is basically the mean value for this body mass for all the penguins. And in a follow up, let's say that we want the histograms according to the species, because, well, we know that there are multiple species on these islands. And basically, then we could use the plot underscore multi underscore histogram custom function, which works very a very similar way. So we specify the first argument and the data set stays the, still the penguins. The second argument, well, whatever we want to get the histograms for, and well, let's say that it's still the body mass trait of the penguins, again, in the quotation mark, and the third function argument should be the column that contains the various classes that we want to use to distinguish our measurements. So in this case, this is the species column. Again, this name or this function argument should be in quotation marks. And if we run this custom function, then we see a new plot where it's clearly seen that the Gen 2 penguins are the heavier ones. So basically these ones are on the right side of the plot and the Adelie and Chinstrap penguins are somewhat lighter and on the other side of this distribution. As you see, it is very easy to use these functions and they produce, in my opinion, a very good and very neat looking pictures. Also the promised look at the stack overflow site where I get all this from. So here you see the two code snippets with the, in their original form and also very neat descriptions of the entire process. Also with examples in this case, I believe, with the iris data set, but I, you see it's a very similar setup. Also the overlapping histograms, and one thing that I didn't cover, but it's also possible with a slightly different code snippet, you also can include a multiple means, so basically the means of all the distributions on the same graph. So if this would be your, your goal, or you would like to have better, uh, basically these better descriptions or, or more these lines, more these means for each distribution, then this is also possible with this other slightly modified R code. So here again, all props and all the praise goes to cybernetic. So here is the, well, the signature. Thank you very much for this very nice, very nice code. And uh, from my side, I Thank you for your time for this video and I wish you a very nice day.